I can't imagine what you must have gone through to come up with a challenge this creative. I mean, I've seen so many over the years, but this one, this one really stuck out. Probably had like a legal pad that you spend a couple minutes a day just filling in ideas. And he did that until the minutes turned into hours, into weeks, months, and then years. And that got out of hand. So he moved it into the bedroom, took the pictures off the wall, moved the furniture around to clear up that wall by the cork board, the thumbtacks, the red yarn, focused on your best ideas until that got out of the hand. Maybe a decade later, moved it out into the living room, put all your best, finest work, your pictures, your documents, analysis, all on the floor. Bought a little mini task lamp, stayed up to the wee hours of the morning until you finally came up with find the nines. That's the most difficult of four of a kinds uh, to find. But speaking of finding, finding things, um, I think I found the new guy in the comments, and that, that's you. I have found nines on this page prior, but since you are new here, I will educate you on how this page works. First, you can see that it's a fair shuffle from top to bottom. It really is. People say that it's not, but they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. No nines on top of the deck. If there were, I'd shuffle again. No nines on the bottom. And on this page, it's not too difficult for me to shuffle cards and cut the cards and find whatever cards that I want. Uh, so for this video, I'm going to make things more challenging. Uh, see how I threw that nine into the deck? Um, it landed at exactly this point right here, next to this card. Um, you're probably not going to believe this, but that happens to be uh, a nine. If you think that's amazing, I'm just getting started. <laughs> but we'll stick with this theme of nines, since that's what you wanted. Um, last time I threw the nine in, directly next to the card. You play it back, flew through the air, went into the deck. This time, let's look at the ninth card. Uh, we'll count face up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is the ninth card. Now people say it came off the bottom, whatever like that, just watch again. Use your eyes, that's very important on this page, if you're new here. Um, how about this last one? Speaking of creativity, let's think of something. How about this? Use a random card from the deck, this one. Why don't we spell a six of diamonds? <laughs> Speaking of your mom, uh, no, uh, six of... <laughs> We're gonna spell six of diamonds from this deck of cards. Let's do it. Do it the cards face up. Now, I know my comment section is gonna suffer with some of these big words. So S-I-X is six. Now, some of you really struggle with this one, O-F. And then diamonds, hold on folks. This one's gonna hurt a little bit. Uh, it's a diamond, D-I-A-M-O-N-D-S, the six of diamonds. Uh, why did I spell the six of diamonds? Because it gives me the final nine, the nine of clubs. Uh, and I thought I was creative. I thought I was creative, but find the nines. That is a true, that is a true work of art. I try to be creative, but when I see things like that, it just makes me want to give up, really. Um, fantastic work on a challenge, and uh, yeah, brilliant. <laughs>